Hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and now that we've actually completed the main, well, we've beaten the main boss of Fury Unleashed. Now I think it's time to just go in and just just start playing runs, which is always the which is always the most interesting part of any roguelike. Um, Skeleton Fury. Yeah, kind of like Skeleton Fury, Alien Fury, and just plain goddamn Fury. I don't know how I feel about Girl Fury, but at the same time, maybe it's just the unnecessary Mohawk haircut. And there you go, Furry Fury. You know, I'm sure someone out there is just, just wildly going at it right now, like, oh yeah, Furry Fury. But no, I think I'm going to go with Mystic Force Fury. Who, for some reason, still needs to use a shotgun. Matter of fact, that's going to be just my loadout. We're going to go shotgun, baseball bat. Why? Because fuck it, I'm part of the Mafia now. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start at Awakening of the Ancient Gods and just go until I lose. So let's see what happens. Oh, that's right, I got an unlock the last time I played. This one is the Tesla Laser. Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, Tesla Laser is very interesting. It's a little faster than the other laser weapon, but I'm just not sure if it's necessarily my thing. Still, both of the weapons I have are better than that impulse rifle. And don't get me wrong, I love me a good impulse rifle. But, I just don't think it's necessarily good for what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know what lightning bolt hit you and hit you in the nuts, but... Maybe that's something to do with how the Tesla laser works, I'm just not aware of it. Yeah, I'll take that mercenary armor. Who's throwing fire at me? Strange skeletal shaman mage thing. Get out of my face. Alright, this is a small room, we can clear this faster. Alright. There we go, broke your kneecaps. Strange as that seems, because you're a skeleton. Oh, I see. So when you kill something with the Tesla laser, it unleashes this electronic charge that hits within a range around itself. Okay. Truly the truly the one and only laser that Nikola Tesla himself would approve of. Jump allows you to triple jump. Let's see if I ever remember that I have that. Ha, silly bastard. What, do you think you're actually gonna hit me? Baseball bat for the win! Uh oh! So one thing to remember about this game is that melee weapons are strong, but they, um, they are of course limited to, of course, to, I mean... I've now said of course too many times in one sentence, I feel silly about that, but... Their range is limited, so... They are not the best option to, to take, given every situation. Give me that. Aha! Give me that. Alright, now over here. Okay, the whole point of doing this, by the way, is to build, a, is to build up ink to level myself up with later. Because if you're thinking, wow, Curse of the Ancient Gods is looking really easy right about now, you're not wrong. Storm Generator. I'm not a big fan of Storm Generators. But I will say that I am happy to have it unlocked. And Binding of Isaac players, of which I am one myself, would agree that even if you don't necessarily like an unlock, you, would, you unlock it anyway because, one, it's completion. And two, it makes you appreciate the good unlocks. Because trust me, who in their right mind play, played Keeper 
struggled all the way through getting all of his unlocks and then said, Oh yeah, sticky nickel, that's the best item. So glad I unlocked that. And I'll tell you, anyone who unironically says that they love sticky nickels really needs to have their head checked. Yeah. Zap! Suck it, bitch! Oh! No, you go away. I don't like your melee, chompy, bitey ass. Ooh. Love Fury's running speed. Must say. Oh, hello. Well, there goes my combo because I got stupid. So, word to the wise, don't get stupid. I have, I have not very much armor for you to repair, sir. There we go. Alright. Oh, hello. Whoa. No, you don't get you don't get to do that to me. No, you just don't. That is just very rude. That's some rude shit. Oh, hello. Wow. Okay. Area of effect. It is there. Oh, hi. You should sacrifice some health for something. I wonder what. What the hell? Then later on in, say, say the Nazi level. Requires combo 5 to enter. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're at combo 5. Boy, I'm glad I, I'm glad I did that. Defeat all enemies without getting hit. Alright, let's see. If... It has been done. You have mastered this rift of chaos, mortal one. Now accept your reward and return to your world. Okay, mistress of fate. I want this. Sweet. I'm happy I chose this. Hey, you're aware the item, has, the item has a name, right? Yeah, it's this. That's not what I meant. I'm trying not to forget about the stomp maneuver, because enemies that for the enemies that are vulnerable to it, it is an instant kill. Yay! But a torso carried by the wind. You will fear me because I am somehow supernatural, and there and therefore a force to be reckoned with. Are you sure? Because I just kind of shot you down. You might be supernatural, but you're not really that scary. Fool, mortal! Do you dare disparage me? I mean, I, you're dead. I was dead before. Point well taken, but. To be fair, you are essentially half the man that you are. Oh, ha ha! You and your you and your sarcasm, mortal. I know, isn't it great? We really doing this? We're just having a conversation with a half a skeleton. Hm. You tell me some of the strangest things you've ever had a conversation with. Can't tell me that when you were a kid, you were above having a conversation with one of your stuffed animals. Trust me, those of us that do those of us that did that as youngsters went on to become very successful DMs for Dungeons and Dragons. Just saying. I like that medieval armor. I will take. You know, it's not always a Hello. 
for a minute there, the game just decided that instability was the only thing it could be about. Alright, we've got ourselves a sonic cannon, a frying pan, because these are these are things that one must have when you are traversing the depths of the cursed jungle. Admittedly, I do really like the Sonic Cannon, and that was something that I unlocked in my last playthrough that I didn't record. So I'm hoping to unlock something else of interest. I think the Tesla Laser was also a recent unlock that I didn't record. Don't get me wrong, I'm not- it's not that I'm not recording because, you know, I hate you all and I think you should- you should not expect anything from me. I mean, the only reason why that's true is because I'm just a small YouTuber don't have much of a following yet, but for those of you who are following me, thank you very much. No, I, I'm doing that because I just love the game and I don't necessarily want to wait between, between recording sessions to play it. So apologies if it feels like you're missing out, I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I love this game and I don't necessarily want to, want to always have to, have to wait between, wait until recording sessions to play it. Alright, you know what? No. We aren't going to try to brute force this. Brute forcing things is what gets you killed in this game. Isn't Fury all about brute force? What I mean is, if you're not using your tools, yeah, you're gonna have issues. Oh, Jesus, I thought you were gone. Now, in that situation, I probably could have gotten by with a grenade instead of using my superpower, but eh. We've got two legendaries. We've got an acid thrower, and ooh, an impulse rifle. That poisons. It's definitely better than the Tesla laser. Ooh, I love the shot velocity on an impulse rifle. They're it's just so, it's so reliable, and it just makes its range so great. Bloody Sundu! Oh, I'm walking on spikes. Why didn't you tell me that, people who can't possibly react to what's going on? Did he really just answer his own question? Give me that. What do we have here? I don't even have head armor yet, so that works. And like I explained before, if you're playing as one of the two base Fury models, in other words, either male Fury or female Fury, then you will see every piece of armor and equipment show up on your character. But as one of the special Furies, so to speak, then you just, then you just have to assume that it's there. Oh, hello. Surprise, motherfucker! It's me! It's me with the high-pitched voice! I'm a plant, I don't even know how I'm talking! There we go. Probably more hidden enemies down here. So the thing about the jungle level is that it has probably by far the most hidden enemies. But its enemies are also the weakest, which is why the weapons that I'm picking up are kind of lackluster in comparison to what, to what I would be seeing in Endgame. See, I've unlocked all of the items from, from Curse of the Ancient Gods. So that's why you didn't see the Mistress of Fate show up there to be like, Hey, you've done well for a dumb mortal. Here, take this. And then shut up and let me get back to my beauty sleep, bitch. Just leave that encounter going, God, Mistress of Fate is a jerk. Ugh. 
Uh, every time you absorb an item, receive a health potion. Every two enemies killed increases your maximum health by one. And I lose almost everything, so I don't think I'm taking that one. All you need to do is sigh. <sighs> Fine, give me that one. Priest of Souls. Oh, okay. I remember this fight. Oh, hey. That's where Mr. Doodle learned that. Alright, what do we got? Infinity SMG. We'll take it, and we'll take it there. And we'll probably be using the crap out of it because it is the best weapon I've found so far. Oh, hey. For some reason, I didn't notice the door up here. Alright, well, let's take care of this real quick. Sweet spikes. Everyone loves spikes. Just ask Mega Man, he loves them. Who keeps spreading those rumors about me? My god. Have you seen what those spikes do to my body? Everybody died. They're all skeletons. They're already dead. <laughs> How dare you interrupt me, bitch! I got a frying pan. Shut up. Oops. That was a spike. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. He's summoning beams of poison from the sky. And why else would they be green if they weren't poisonous? Well, I mean, the saturation on the RGB levels could just also be up on that beam, you never know. You think it's one of those things that he chooses, like the color of the beam? It's like, yeah, I understand that it's a poisonous element, and toxic is generally represented by either purple or green, but you know what? We're just gonna turn up the green on this one. Cause that's how magic works. What the fuck are you using? Eldritch Blast? You trying to you trying to make the hmm? trying to make the beam smell like lemon lime now? Why is it working? Oh, never mind. Me and my submachine gun. <laughs> How dare you! Question, why are why are guys who just believe in a in, in a very strict socialist regime somehow stronger than the living undead? Can someone answer me that question? Because it's very confusing. Is that a metaphor for how <clears throat> for how technology has essentially replaced the old gods? Or is it just an or is it just an odd an odd game design choice? You know, not everything has to be. In. Whoa! Where did you? Where did that crate of explosives come from? No, go away, Mr. Shotgun. I don't like you. Oh, okay. What do we got? Increases ink collection range by. Nah, I don't even care. And yeah, I suppose not every oh, damn it, not everything needs to have a deeper meaning, but sometimes, sometimes you just look at some of the design choices and go, "Yeah, was that very well executed? Why, why did you do it like that?" And we're talking about the living undead being commanded by actual Aztec gods, and somehow they're less powerful than just Nancy. 
Like, is that somehow supposed to be like a derivative thing? Like, did the game devs not give... Um, yeah, we'll take it because my armor is kind of down. Like, did do the game devs just not take them seriously? But but Nazis were real things. So they're like, yeah, they're they're a more credible threat. I mean, yes, but if you look at it from a from a more fantasy point of view, the gods are the ones who, are the ones who straight up govern certain aspects. Like, okay, so yeah, to be fair, Mr. Snake God probably not the most powerful thing in the world because his realm of influence is just snakes. But, I mean, when you're talking about an actual, like, deity, again, this is from a fantasy point of view, because, for reasons, I'm not going into my religious beliefs right now, because the last thing I need is for someone to dogpile me and be like, HE'S HORRIBLE! But... You're talking about... You're talking about creatures and characters and whatnot that actually straight up govern, govern an entire an entire realm of reality, like, Aphrodite governs, governs love and lust, and to that extent she can control populations and childbirth. That's pretty fucking, that's pretty fucking big. Then Zeus commands, commands thunder and lightning, again, those are no small things. Um, hmm. a very awkward weapon. Ha! Wave beam, bitch! Uh, eh. No issue with the alien shard launcher itself, it's just a very odd shot pattern. So, to compare, 59 versus 61, I don't know, I think I'm still probably going to stick with this for right now, but, you know, it's nice to have something for, you know, close but not, close range but not point blank. Alright, what do you got for me? Increases bullet damage by 10%. I, me love you long time, Joel. Wee! Burr! Your aim is garbage, sir. But I cannot blame you. You're a piece of technology. On the other hand, you humans should have variable aim. Instead, you're stormtroopers. Don't be afraid to use the fast travel. And then don't and then don't stomp onto a bullet. That is how you get really bad infections. Not to mention a hole through your crotch. Alright, chapter 2-1 complete. Some enemies explode when they die! Yes, I know. I still have the remains of that last one on my face. Okay, no. You... Okay, you guys can stop now. Wait, you think you think you you think you have power because you have numbers? <laughs> Come on now. Well, I mean that is a military tactic. We kind of thought it would work here. <laughs> Don't be ignorant. I'm a superhero. Have you seen me reload yet? Well, you now have your proof. Damn, he's right. He's got the superpower of never having to reload. That man, that puts him very slightly on par above. Huh? On who? Sorry, on a level above us. Very slightly. I mean, let's be fair. We are kind of a tool bit. Ooh, hello, unholy sword. Well, it was nice. It was nice seeing you, frying pan. But un unholy sword and I have a date with destiny. But you said she was a bitch. You know what? Shut up. Yeah. 
increase your combo by 10 without breaking it once. Well, we're already a good, we're already a good, a good way there. And by that, I mean I haven't taken a hit in a while. That was perhaps the stupidest dodge I've ever attempted. Why didn't I just duck? Um, yeah, I don't care. There we go. <laughs> oh, that didn't break it? Okay. I thought thrusting down on something with your full weight was generally enough to break it, but apparently I was wrong! There we go. 25% chance to reload the weapon instantly. I love it. And you are Pyro Shoes. Huh. Also, what did I tell you? I completely forgot that I had the triple jump. Now that I remember, I'm probably still not going to use it, but... Whoa! Look at that running speed! I outrun bullets! Hey, maybe there's more to Fury than just wielding guns after all, huh? Oh. Okay, and that's that's why you use grenades. And you just lost a really good combo because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Acid tank. Well, that didn't work. Hey, Dark Sage, how did you beat the game when you just get hit by everything? I mean, I'm kind of wondering that myself. I love it. <laughs> yeah, don't try to dodge the rocket, just slam your face through it. That, that's how you avoid damage in this game, guys. Didn't you know? You just... Run you instead of trying to get around the dangerous exploding object, you just run in and put your face in it like. Mm! Oh, I love that rocket facial. Oh, give it to me. Okay, that sounded way dirtier than I had intended. So don't read too far into that. There we go. Hey, Gunlord, what you got for him? Ooh, you got a legendary shotgun. Bone Crusher. I will take. I've gotten a lot of work done with a Bone Crusher. And because it's got a because it's got a two-shot magazine, it's real easy to tell where it's real easy to tell when the real when the 25% chance for instant reload comes up. Or in fact, it happened there three times. Okay. I like being able to see where hidden enemies are. It allows me to make sure that no amount of ink ever goes lost. And then you step in the slime puddle because fuck it, who even cares? Oh, Bone Crusher shotgun. Woo! I don't think so. Give me that ink. Remember, make use of your tools. That includes that includes the fast travel. It's there for a reason, and plus, using it, you rest you restore your combo timer.
You know, Dark Sage, you could have used a grenade. Yes, I could have. I could have. You are right. I didn't need to, but I could have. Alright, Fury. You and me, buddy. You and me. Yeah! Fury for Smash! I don't know if I like Fury that much, y'all. I think Fury is a great character, don't get me wrong. But as far as indie games, indie games are concerned, I would much rather see either Shantae or Isaac in Smash. One of those seems kind of likely, the other one not so much. In case you're wondering which is which, there's already a... WayForward was already saying they wanted Shantae in the game, and they were saying that at Smash 4. So, I think Shantae stands a pretty decent shot at getting in. Oh, jeez. Okay, everyone freeze. I almost remembered that I had the triple jump there. Yeah. Oh no, I want that because I want to I want to be able to afford some upgrades when this run is over, whenever it ends. Quadro Bomber, okay. Whee! You silly bastard. You see my bone crusher? It doesn't just crush bone. Nah, I'm keeping the unholy sword. Matter of fact, I think I'll just take the extra ink. So I'm now starting to wonder, do I get back to the earlier panels by looping back around? It's like Comics Zone, only somehow less brutally difficult. Says you, Dark Sage. I mean, yes, but I mean, when it comes right down to it, isn't my opinion the only one that matters anyway? Please do not take seriously, I'm not that narcissistic. There's a difference between self-confidence and flat-out narcissism. Boop! See, the reason why I find the stomp to be so effective against the snipers is because they're very clearly trying to aim at you from a distance. Hold on. I don't know if I want to... Oh, hello. So this may be the last unlock from Operation Smell Your Farts. I don't remember the name of it, I'm sorry. I could just look it up, I guess. Except I can't. Is it here? No, but I know that you go through Blue Hill Comics now. God, haven't you heard about their sexual harassment allegations? Which I guess I shouldn't joke about that. We do swarm launchers. You have defended this frame from the invasion of Chaos Fury. Thanks to it, I will be able to summon an ancient sketch to this world. Bring it to the Ink Master and he'll turn it into a new item you will be able to use. And that's actually very nice of her. Now she seems much less like a terrible person. Oh, there he goes. I told you, Bone Crusher can, cu can crush much more than bone. Um, oh, I like that. What are you? Legendary Acid Thrower. I don't know how I feel about that. Is 
Tell you what, I will try. <laughs> Splat! Here, you make build that swarm launcher for me, sir. And then I will definitely buy this. Ow. Ow. Hey! It's stupid. Of all the things that could that could end my combo is just dripping fire. Once again, why do you have magma dripping in your fortress? I, mean, I guess I could ask Bowser the same thing, real honestly. Hold on. Ha ha! Hit it with my sword! say use your tools, I mean my grenades too. Or if you're playing it, it's not going to be my grenades, it's going to be your grenades. Nonetheless, the idea remains the same. If you make good use of your tools, then you will go far. You will live in happiness too. Like the Oompa Loompa Doopity Doo. And don't fucking forget it. I would so be willing to take the double revolvers, but I don't have en I don't have enough money. Man. Sounds like maybe you shouldn't have spent all of your all of your funds on booze. Oh, well, there will be more opportunities. Besides, I like the weapons that I have. Sky Fortress. <laughs> there was just one rather large obstacle left to overcome. Eh. No, how dare you. No. Okay, yeah, don't use a sword against a missile. That's just... That's, that's friendly advice from me to you. Just don't use a sword against a missile. Good lord. There we go. Alright. Yeah, he kind of kicked my ass a little bit, but I mean, look at my health meter. You'd never know now, now would ya? I would rather just repair that armor. Fury's work here was done. Earth's last stand. When we first saw the alien mothership orbiting Earth, we thought they had come in peace. We can now say with full certainty that we were overly optimistic. Turns out they were in the early phases of staging a full-scale invasion. They had an army, but we had Fury. Their overconfidence would cost them dearly. Ah! How dare you! Yeah, that's what I get for not paying attention to the full scope of what's in this panel. Okay. Uh, change it. And eh, absorb it. Kind of digging this acid thrower. I really like the angle at which you threw that grenade, but maybe at some point or another you should try to hit me with it. Oh, ha ha, very funny. You're a regular Louie Anderson. 
and with the approximate build of Louis Anderson as well. Uh, by the way, I want you all to know I'm not fat shaming. I'm a, I'm a big dude too. I just think it's important to note that because it's not just me being like, ah, screw Louie Anderson, that fat fuck. Mm, reduces damage taken by 10%. I love it. Yeah. Oh, too much crap. My grenades aren't strong enough anymore. Alright, well, I'm... Yeah, okay. Okay, well, the improvement in the base enemies has not gone unnoticed by yours truly. Ow. Oh god, is he just blowing snot at us? God, what a disgusting fuck. That's right, it's not an acid thrower, it's a snot launcher! Truly the most horrifying of weapons. Oh my god, he's using chemical warfare, what a jerk. Okay, no, all of you stop. Cut it out, I don't, appre I don't appreciate your shenanigans. Yeah, give me that. I have, like, no armor now, thanks to just getting clobbered. Alright, let's see. Hello, Mr. Psychic Bullets. Goodbye, Mr. Psychic Bullets. Burning Axe. I like it, but I'm just going to let that go. Also, hey, uh, Satan, where is that health orb I was supposed to get from doing that? Oh, there it is. Eh, I don't really want the ice potion, actually. I know it seems odd, because... As much as I as much as I love ice elemental things in games, right now I think the poison damage is going to do me more good. Okay, enough. Oh, I was right, that was where I died. Okay. Little embarrassing there. But alright, I'll go ahead and choose my upgrade. And I'm going to max out my critical hit chance. Alongside critical hit damage. And then the next thing we should start working on is probably either weapon reload time. Re reload time? Is that what I just said? Wow, that's sad. Weapon reload time, or just our maximum health. Sometimes just the simplest things can be the ones that improve. Alright, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I will probably keep playing Fury Unleashed because I love this game. And I think Super Scary Snakes did a great job on it. Wait, no. Super Scary Snakes was a different game I've been playing. No, this is Awesome Game Studios. I, I for some reason, getting them mixed up. So, <clears throat> anyways, enough rambling. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate all the support I've been getting from you guys. And I will be back with more stuff in the near future. You guys take care. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.